In this video, we are going to be taking a closer look at a VR dumbbell for the Oculus Quest 2 or Meta Quest 2, whatever you want to call it. I am not going to call it the Meta Quest 2. It's made by Kiwi Design and it is a very simple way to level up your VR workouts. So let's go ahead and set it up and then we're going to try it out with some VR games. Inside of the box, you'll see that everything is inside of this nice little carrying pouch. It's really simple to get started. All you gotta do is put the bottom part in first and then put the top part. And this part is really important because you gotta be honest with yourself with how comfortable you are with VR. I have plenty of experience playing VR games, so I put all three weights just because I wanted to increase difficulty. And keep in mind that these weights, they may feel very light at first, but when you're playing VR, they're gonna feel much more heavier. So I just wanted to make that clear that you should be cautious about adding too much weight because I want everyone to be safe, and of course I want you to have a good VR experience. To be honest, when I first saw this product, I was worried about adding this onto my controller because these controllers are very fragile and I've seen many people break their controllers. And I'm not even sure if you could buy these controllers separately if they break. I've seen a lot of VR add-ons that they look like kids toys. This is not like that at all. If the weights are installed, then you can put the cover and just screw it on. And it should be obvious, but you should have the same weights on both controllers. Another thing that is really important is that you need three plates inside of this controller. So you can't put two weights and you can't put four. It has to be three. So if you want a little bit lighter, you can put two of the heavy plates and then one of the light plates and that will decrease the weight. And again, you wanna make sure the weight is the same on each controller. And I think that about does it for the setup. Now let me stop talking and let's go ahead and play some games. As soon as I started to play Beat Saber, I felt the difference with these weights. It made it a little bit more challenging, but also it made it fun. It didn't really affect my performance in the game, but it definitely made me more tired faster. And again, that's not a bad thing. That's kind of what you want. When I first got this headset, I bought some silicone weights that you put on your wrists and they were like one pound each, but that wasn't really a good solution because that would slide off my wrists when I was playing Beat Saber or any game on a high difficulty level. So with these VR weights, I do not have that problem. Nothing is moving around, everything is secure in place, and everything feels pretty balanced. However, you gotta make sure you have a good grip on these controllers. So you should always use that little string on the VR controller, but with these weights, you definitely need to use it. It's an accelerator ball. They didn't know what to do with that. After using these VR weights for a couple of days, I can definitely say that it is worth it and I had an awesome workout with it. As I mentioned before, I like how easy it is to set up these weights and I like that it doesn't make your controller look weird. And for all of those reasons, I think this is a must have for people who want something more out of their VR workout. So that is it for this video. And as always, if you are interested in this product, I will have a link in the video description below. And be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to have plenty more videos coming in 2022 about gaming, tech, and VR.